All right, so this is the new engine here. The uh, VTR250 and the old uh, dismantled spider engine. And I found out the new VTR250. Look here, we've got uh, one ignition pickup here. And with the, the VTR250, you've got two. So one would go here and the other one would go here. And here on the VTR250. Nothing, nothing there. So I am unable to uh, transfer over the, uh, the ignition pickups off the Sparta to the VTR250 engine, which is one main key difference at the moment. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll do what I'm planning to do is I'm going to uh, actually do a full on EFI injection system conversion onto the Sparta from a 2010 VTR250. Uh, I'll go over also the other differences of the engine. So the, this is obviously the uh, top of the rocker cover and you can see that we've got these uh, sort of uh, gas relief valves uh, that would connect uh, to your intake uh, box while here this is from the same side the, uh, the cylinder 2 from so the one next closest to the rear wheel uh, does not have those at all so that there is one other key difference if I take this off and then that there is well we're well inside of it and I'll take this one off here and well apart from you know all the uh, things that usually the uh, mounting that goes on top which I've taken off the spider one it's there's no difference at all um, the Sparta does have uh, twin uh, springs in each uh, spring valve. So you've got dual springs while the VTR 250, I'm not too sure if I can focus it, only has the one. It doesn't have dual. So the VT, so, sorry, the uh, Sparta, I don't know if you could see it or not, has two, and yeah, so the VTR. 250 only has one because the Spider does rev out to 14,000 RPM while the VTR 250 I think is 11,500 um, and I've also got a camshaft here so I don't know if I can even tell at the moment but the, when I looked at it it didn't look like there was much difference so this is the exhaust side I have better luck with the intake and this is the intake side So, just focus. It doesn't really appear to be much difference. Like maybe the spider has got a sh I don't know, more sharper uh, lobe. I guess I don't know how to actually say that in top in actual proper engine terms. But uh, the lobe here does seem to be a tiny bit sharper. I don't know if that's just because of wear. But yeah, other than that, there's no other real differences between the VTR250 and the Spider engine at all. So I'm assuming that these here are just just for the, you know, the, um, for exhaust gas, well, the engine in uh, combustion gases going that pressurize usually the cylinder back into, um, back into the intake just for the, uh, all the fumes and all that and all the regulations and stuff that uh, I guess you've got to meet with the newer engines and newer bikes but yeah other than this major bit here so this is the biggest thing that is stopping me at the moment is the um, ignition pickups so this has two that would go there and this is only and the VTR 250 only has the one which does suck because I was hoping to just keep it you know sort of original the full-on um, old school carburetor and all that but I think if I do an EFI swap it'll be a hell of a lot more interesting and now that I've got this out in the sunlight this you can see here this is the uh, cylinder 2 You've got the uh, witness marks here where the uh, top of the cylinder has been hitting the bottom of the um, of the cylinder head <clears throat> which was making all that clangy noise and just eventually it seized on me so yeah, 